AI, it's the biggest thing to hit North America since crack cocaine. But here's what they're not talking about. America's electrical grid isn't up to the job of handling the AI revolution. I'm standing in central London, specifically the city of London, the centre of the financial district. This is Battersea Power Station. It powered London up until the 1980s, when London finally outgrew it and was integrated into the national grid, allowing electricity to be supplied to the capital from more modern power plants. The same thing has happened worldwide, except in the United States, which stopped paying attention to its infrastructure around 1972. Can you dig it? As a result, much of the US grid is over 50 years old, and some parts date back to the 19th century. Well, now the United States has been blindsided by the energy requirement to fuel the AI revolution, which has spurred a massive increase in energy demand in North America, which is expected to ramp up 25% or more by the end of the decade. That all leaves the tech industry there facing a new type of bottleneck, not chip speed or network capacity, but the limitations of running AI over a grid containing transformers installed well before the invention of television. The United States administration has responded to the AI power crisis with incentives and regulatory measures at both the federal and state levels. And last month, President Trump signed executive orders to expedite the use of coal energy to address the energy needs of the AI industry. So, mission accomplished? Hardly. These moves are reactive. It's all too little, too late. And it's not just the grid that needs to be upgraded. Power plants, whether they run on fossil fuels, nuclear energy or renewables, take years to build. Expect higher energy bills, brownouts and even blackouts within the next three to five years. Worse, the delay or even derailment of America's leadership in the emerging global AI economy. Join me next time as I explore the options available to upgrade America's power infrastructure for AI and also look at how other countries are faring. <laughs>